Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Juliana. This video is all about how I look effortlessly clean and polished. I want to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video, but more on them later. If you guys have been on my channel before, you know that a lot of my videos center around how to look classy and polished, but I think within the realm of classy, there's definitely like different types. You have the very maximalist and glamorous aesthetic, and on the other end is a more minimal, sleek, and simplistic style. I personally love both and enjoy going between the two different types, but the type that I want to explore today is that more minimalist, sleek style. And I think this style is honestly the more realistic of the two for most people. It's perfect if you want to look polished, but not to the point that it gets too unrealistic to upkeep. So let's get started with hair. If you want a clean look, you're going to want your hair to look well defined. And don't worry, this can be achieved with any hair type. You don't have to straighten your hair to look clean. I think if you do have naturally curly hair, you can use that to your advantage. You just want to make sure to define your curls. If you have hair that's naturally puffy or frizzy, I would try changing up your hair care routine and diffusing your hair after the shower in a way that brings out your natural curls if you have them. I feel like it's more common to see now, but before it got popular on TikTok, I don't think a lot of people realized that they actually had curly hair, but because they didn't have any after shower or hair care routine, they would just let their hair air dry and it can become kind of frizzy and not very defined. So yeah, since I don't personally have that kind of hair type, my hair is naturally very straight. I'll link some videos below, and these will be from creators that I think are better equipped to discuss this topic. Hair pomades and hairsprays are great to keep your hair in place, but if you have finer hair like me and feel like these products can kind of weigh your hair down, I'd suggest actually using a hair gel or a hair serum instead. Also, if you do have finer hair, I would for the most part avoid hair oils since even if you put a tiny bit, they can really make your hair look stringy. Instead, I recommend going for a product with a high glycerin content. This is the one that I've been using recently. It's from L'Oreal's El Vive, El Vive line, and it's the Frizz Killer Serum. It's actually a leave-in product, but I don't use heat on my hair, so I just use it as a serum. And yeah, it's actually amazing. It doesn't weigh my hair down, which is really big for me because I don't really like it when my roots go flat. I put some on before this video, but I can add a little bit since my hair hair gets frizzy so easily. So I just take a pump or two and rub it between my palms. And all I do is just kind of rub it onto my hair. Another reason I really like hair serums is the added shine. I think a large component of the clean aesthetic is looking shiny to some extent. Another way to do that that's really subtle is with your jewelry. So like I mentioned earlier, Anna Luisa has been so kind to sponsor this video. I've worked with them in the past and I love sharing their pieces with you guys because I really stand by the quality of their pieces. They create high quality jewelry that's super affordable and long lasting. I like my jewelry to be super versatile since I don't really change it out day to day unless of course I have some kind of event. Otherwise I mostly keep it in like when I sleep, when I shower so I needed to match all my outfits and also be very durable and not tarnish. In terms of jewelry nothing is more annoying when your favorite pieces tarnish and rust and I've noticed that this really isn't the case for Ana Luisa. The pieces tend to just look the same from when you first got them to as you keep using them. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a bit. Right now I'm wearing the Eden hoops in gold and I love how small yet sturdy they are. They're huggy hoops that really do hug your ear so they're not really flying around and I think they're a lot more unique than a lot of the huggy hoops I tend to see since they're a little wider. Another Another piece that I've been loving is their pavering in gold. Both of these have little crystals that add this very subtle glamour to them, but I think they're still very modern and minimal and really pair with all my outfits. As I'll talk about later, the clean and classy aesthetic tends to use more simplistic clothing styles, which makes your jewelry pieces that much more impactful when you do add them to your outfit. I think these pieces are very subtle, but they shimmer in the light so beautifully. Right now, Ana Luisa is having their Black Friday sale, so if you want to get up to 35% off your order, definitely use the link in my description down below. Thank you again, Anna Luisa, for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys so much, as always, for all the love you show my sponsors. All right, now let's talk about makeup. Clean girl makeup has definitely been a trend, and it focuses on looking glowy and smooth. For that, I actually want to talk a little bit about skincare. If you want to have this kind of glass skin, glowy skin look, you definitely want to use a good exfoliator. I have two favorites that I wanted to share for both the face and body. So for the face, I actually use a chemical exfoliant. This is where the ingredients of the product are actually what break down the dead skin cells, rather than the exfoliation coming from bees or just rubbing or scrubbing your face. So yeah, I would actually recommend a chemical exfoliant for the face since it tends to be more gentle. The one that I've been using and loving recently is by Skin Fix. It's their Resurface Plus AHA BHA Enzyme Exfoliating Pads. They're like individual pads. You just take one out and then you almost like rub it or massage it like a toner. It's actually been so effective. I was kind of skeptical of using this at first since I've always used an exfoliator where you kind of scrub your face. But yeah, this has been great to really smooth out and brighten my face, especially when I use it around my nose and my mouth, which is 
where I tend to get kind of dry areas. For the body though, I'm definitely a basic girl. I love my tree hut scrubs. I'm sure those of you guys who go to Target, you've seen one of these. But yeah, they just smell so good. And yeah, these scrubs are pretty self-explanatory. By the way, for everything that I mentioned in this video, I'll make sure to link it down below. But yeah, in terms of skin, we want to cultivate a glowy or at least natural complexion. If you're like me and always wondered what the difference between oily and glowy is, I think it's different by where the shine is coming from. If someone is glowy, they tend to have the soft shine on the high points of their face. So think like tops of the cheekbones, the cupid's bow, the brow bone. Whereas if someone's oily, they'll tend to just look kind of shiny all over. So looking glowy definitely doesn't mean looking as shiny as possible everywhere. You want to highlight certain areas and add glow strategically. But an area I would recommend to go really shiny with is your lips. I think the clean aesthetic does always tend to feature glossy lips. I've actually been kind of experimenting with lip glosses. I recently saw TikToks about the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks lip gloss and it's good but I don't love it when lip glosses don't really last. So this is still my tried and true. It's the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. It's in the shade 04 Silk. I'm wearing it right now and it just has this amazing lacquer shine that will last at least four to five hours if I don't eat or drink. And I know they make a clear version of this as well but yeah if you have really pigmented lips naturally or you just don't really dig a very opaque lip gloss. I do really like the ones from Laneige, the Glowy Balms. I think I tried the grapefruit one and I really liked it and I really like the applicator. It's very easy to use. Another alternative are these like tinted lip balm lipstick hybrids. I love the Dior Lip Glow. I have the one in the shade Warm Beige. It's very pretty. It's not super glossy but has this really nice blurring effect. If you do want something very glossy, I would recommend these YSL Love Shine lipsticks. It's honestly a similar shade. Can you tell that I really love these like rosewood nudes? But this has an incredible shine, almost like a lip gloss. So yeah, there's lots of options if you want something that's like my lips would better but also very shiny. The only lipstick style that I would tend to avoid is anything too dark or matte. These tend to suit other makeup style aesthetics and will clash with this clean girl makeup. For the rest of the makeup, I would just suggest keeping it neutral and light. Again, like the lips, I would kind of stay away from really dark eyeshadows since they tend to suit a different style. Instead, I'll first off shimmery shade that's either your skin tone or a little lighter. With this kind of clean and polished style, it's more about just enhancing your natural features. Let me know if you are interested in a makeup tutorial at all. Alright, before we get into clothing, there's still one more thing that I want to mention and that is perfume. I think it's a super important yet underrated part because I mean smelling good really does translate into seeming clean. Like the name this style suggests, you want to gear towards more fresh and clean scents. Here are my two top recommendations, but I mean there are still a lot of different options within this category. There's some perfumes that are going to smell like fresh cotton or laundry. The ones that I really enjoy have this kind of ocean scent, so you just kind of have to experiment a little bit. I don't know if they sell it anymore, but I used to have the Elizabeth and James white perfume. That one and the black one, they both were amazing. And I really love the Dolce & Gabbana light blue. I feel like every time I talk about perfume, I mention that one. But it's the perfect scent for something really clean and like you stepped out of the shower. I think florals can work, but just make sure that they're not too overpowering. For instance, this one's Beautiful Magnolia by Estee Lauder. Even though it's a floral scent, I would still categorize it as being within the clean realm. The only ones I would kind of stray away from are anything really dark or smoky or musky. Ultra musky perfumes can seem kind of odd when paired with a really light clothing style. Speaking of clothing style, to look clean and polished, we want to focus on very minimal and sleek designs. This often means gearing away from really busy prints and colors. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with these, but again, they don't really match this clean look that we're trying to cultivate. Anything that's very multicolored or intensely textured, it can look very busy and kind of overwhelming when paired with other pieces of a similar type. Another thing that I'd suggest to avoid are logos. Now, I think some logos can look very sleek, but I mean, I'm talking about excessive logos all throughout your outfit. Even though I will admit it's kind of a cool aesthetic, they can become kind of ostentatious or kind of tacky, and doing so doesn't tend to look very clean or classy. So yeah, instead of focusing on logos, you want to focus most on the fit and quality of the clothing piece. The designs that this style goes for tend to be more minimal and simplistic. The fit itself becomes kind of more important, and doing so can really make or break your look. An easy way to find better fitting clothing is to look for better materials. You want to avoid synthetic fabrics. I mean, I think most clothes nowadays have synthetic blends, so it can be kind of hard to find pieces that are 100% natural, but as long as it's not 100% synthetic or like spandexy material, it actually tends to go a long way in terms of improving the fit. Natural fibers also tend to have more longevity, which basically means that they won't like unravel or get stretched out as easily. To make your outfits look more sleek, I'd avoid letting your bra straps show, and avoid wearing tops that have a different strap style to your bra. For instance, if you wear a tank top with a scoop neck back, you want to avoid pairing this top with a racer back sports bra. Now, disclaimer, I don't say this in a way where I think showing a bra strap is scandalous, since I mean we're in 2024 and hopefully we're all past that. I think just visually it looks a lot cleaner when there's less lines. So even though both of these look fine, the one without lots of straps will look visually cleaner. I'm going back to my point on finding neutral basics, a few items that I think are important to start with if you want to start 
start developing a kind of a capsule wardrobe, I would start with a white top, either a tank top or a t-shirt, whichever style you feel flatters you best, wide leg trousers, a long sleeve top, good quality leggings or yoga pants. I mean, that does depend on how much you like to go to the gym or do sports. And since it's getting colder, maybe a cream or light color sweater. And also, I love a little black dress. Let me know if you want me to expand more on kind of a capsule wardrobe for the clean look in a future video. I feel like I have a lot more to say on that, but I honestly feel like that could be a whole video in itself. But in terms of the actual specific style of these pieces, it will depend a lot on your personal preference. If you're less girly, lean more into button-down styles and looser clothing. Sportier styles will really flatter things like track jackets or flared leggings. And more feminine styles will work great with really fitted tops as well as sleek dresses. But yeah guys, that's all I have for you for this video. Make sure to check out Anna Luisa, especially for their Black Friday sale. Also check me out on Instagram and TikTok. I like to do a lot more of these style tips and outfit and spawn there. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you here. But yeah guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!